have ruled that a running play in the box score. Wigman. The check down. Nice move by Ruben Owens. The freshman makes a man miss. Picks up 26, and he left DJ James in his wing. Absolutely love this from the quarterback. Get to his check down. And whoop, hit him with a little. Wigman has all day. He's going to go down eventually a coverage sack. This would tie Bond's career long that he put through last week from 52. Towards the uprights, he's got it. He was told coming into this season he would be part of a quarterback battle and as a result decided to take his chances playing on the planes and he just met Shamar Turner. Good friends, but uh, has decided to stick to football. And RG, you, you as well have tried to do too at, at college. Here's Le'Veon Moss being brought down. Yeah, right? I'm standing next to a track guy that also <laughs> wanted to at Baylor, not... Because my teammates deserve that from me. And I'm not saying that a guy shouldn't try it, but, you know, at the end of the day, football is king. Moss gets free. Le'Veon Moss all the way down to the 25-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 23. Ooh-wee! Now, what you're going to see from Le'Veon Moss here is both patience and explosion. Watch him read it backside, then find the patience to go through that hole and fire away. Now, I'd like to see that ball in the outside arm so he can utilize the stiff arm there on Jalen Simpson. But at the end of the day, we're going to take this run and be happy about it as an offense. And winning your SEC opener would go a long way to help get things started right. Bouncing off tacklers is Jarquez Hunter. Breaks another tackle with a stiff arm. And he's got a first down. Tyreek Chappelle eventually pushed him out. Very nice run here by Jarquez Hunter. Sometimes it's not there when you first look for it, but he's out there trying to get. And m shows blitz. Here they come. Right behind the blitzer goes Hunter into the secondary again. They rushed off the edge. They keep it with Jarquez Hunter. Tough to bring down. Mm. Boy, that's a hard work in five yards. Look for them to try to get number 13, Rivaldo Fairweather, involved. That's their big target tight end. Let's come it. Thorne spins out. Now he goes down. And that might knock them out of field goal range. And now what will Hugh Freeze decide to do? Well, you know how you can get him from not hitting his favorite target? Get right up in his grill right there. Yes, they can, but they got to get this passing game going. No completion so far in the game. Thorne, there's his first completion. Ryan Batty up the sideline. Right at the first down line to game. Aggies bring a blitz off the edge. And it is successful. Bryce Anderson was there to bring down Peyton Thorne. They did not account for him well early in the cadence. You talk and about, the protection didn't slide. You talk about no no surprise. Whenever you see a guy land a fan base, how they feel about him, it was a no-brainer to keep him as a part of this coaching staff. As Thorne with a pump fake. Bonds one of those running backs that plays for Cadillac. A nice cut by Brian Petit. Puts his left foot in the ground and picks up a first. <laughs> and trying to put drives together. <laughs> Back to throws Peyton Thorne. The pocket collapses. He's got nowhere to go with the football, and there's no daylight past Torrey and York. Right now, Peyton Thorne is either not seeing it or not trusting his instincts at the quarterback spot. Hunter with a cutback. And now a decision to make. It was third down and 19, and he picks up 15. Avoiding a sack. At first was Thorne, but then he goes down. You can only dodge so many pass rushers. Fadil Diggs was there as well. Yeah, Fadil Diggs has been all over the place today in the backfield. To save some time for his offense, but of course, his quarterback's in the locker room. Thorne, again, sacked at the 36. Well, now it's fourth down and forever. McKinley Jackson. You name them, they got him at Texas A&M. A bunch of five stars. Guys pushing the pocket. Now 53 for McPherson to try and get Auburn on the board. He certainly has the leg to reach. And he's got it. Looks like it will be an A&M field goal advantage at halftime. What a kick. He put the fear in that football. Got it up. So it has been a juggling act for Hugh Freeze and the defensive coaches in the secondary. But their offense on the field first. And there is Fadil Diggs again. Took down Jarquez Hunter. Hunter empties the backfield. Four. He'll go down again. And when you watch it, 
This pressure is cumulative, right? They're not just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Brother to brother, wide open, Jake Johnson at the goal line. He's at the pylon. Is he in? Yes. That's an AM and touchdown. Oh, the nostalgia from that one right there. Max Johnson with the great ballsmanship on the face. And then he gets it to his brother from the same mother. For the touchdown, I absolutely love That's going to be a moment these two are going to remember for a lifetime. Back to the offense, Texas A&M. Play action for Max Johnson. He's going to go downtown, hoping for Evan Stewart. Double coverage. He's got it. That's an a and touchdown. Right down the chimney. Max Johnson. Watch him stand tall in the pocket. Find the Wi-Fi connection and airdrop a beauty into Evan Stewart's hands. That throw was mm, 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 finger licking. Trust him in the passing game. That will be the question for Auburn. Jarquez Hunter bottled up at the line of scrimmage. So now it will be third down and a long six close to seven. It looks like they're going to try to work this bunch set to give their guys free releases. Five-man rush. Another sack. Ashford with nowhere to go. Eventually, Edger and Cooper got to him and brought him down behind the line. Chris Russell with pressure as well. Now they have been pressuring the quarterback all day. And it was Edger and Cooper who was over the center to get the offensive line into a 5-0 call. Played the NFL with the Bears and Carolina as well. Anaya Smith stays on his feet. Broken tackle. And Anaya Smith dangerous in the open field. Pulled down from behind at the 42-yard line. 28 yards. Nice move here by Anaya Smith. He sits down the choice route, and then who does he make miss? It's Donovan Kaufman. The guy's out there trying to cut it back and go score a touchdown. The one thing the Auburn defensive coordinator, Ron Roberts, told us was, uh, we don't really want Don. Max Johnson being chased and going down. Well, that time he was waiting for something to form up downfield, and Cam Riley had time. Yeah, you talk about Cam Riley. He's going to be coming off the top of the screen, off the edge, a little late pressure. Quarterback feels it. Owens again. Flag down. Lost the football. It pops up in the air. Eugene Asante heads the other way. Being chased by Johnson. Asante, touchdown if it stands. Eugene Asante, Johnny on the spot. I told you at the beginning of the game, he was going to have to make a play to change this game. Right there, the fumble gets forced. He's Johnny on the spot because he hustled to the ball. And watch him just blaze down the sideline. He's got a saying that says, rather than lose them for lengths of time as they have, Johnson back to throw. Scrambles, tucks it under. Right up the middle of the field, diving for a first down and more. And make sure that you guys are taken care of, and it's hard to do that and run an offense. That team gets to the outside, breaks a tackle. Brian Batte down the sideline to midfield. The run game for Auburn gets them from their own 10-yard line all the way out. 24-yard run by Batte. Yes, nice run by Batte. It's really just a nice, easy counter play there for the quarterback. And now Robbie Ashford in the ground attack. Looking to make it a one-score game. This time swamped under is Ashford well behind the line. Fadil Diggs got there, and he had company. You want to know how to shut down the zone read? Blitz off the edge. Jay Fair in motion. A throwback screen to Fairweather. And diagnosed by the A&M defense. Uh, a, a negative play. You want to use that timeout to preserve as much time as you can. necessarily have the breakaway speed. Well, the breakaway speed of Amari Daniels is exactly the turning point here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I think the Auburn Tigers defenders were shocked that he was back there too. But he did get run down, so he didn't have to fight. Le'Veon Moss gets a push. That's an AM touchdown. All but ends this game. Yeah, it doesn't. We always talk about score with your man or move the line of scrimmage back and look how many guys are leading that man into the end zone three lead blockers
It just looks ugly in there. Bodies laying all over the field. They're going to have to find ways to get these guys involved earlier in the game so that they don't have lulls like this on offense. Shane Hooks nowhere to go. We keep ourselves in games. When our quarterbacks develop at some point, we can open it up. But right now, they're not there. There goes Sean Jackson. And he is a load to bring down at 236 pounds. Last year, being a young team, now they're an experienced unit and are looking to make some noise in this SEC West. Garriner goes down. And that will do it officially. Edger and Cooper gets the sack on fourth down. The day for that defensive front. When you show up in SEC play, you better protect your QB. That'll be the question, and it may be decided for them if Wigman has an ankle injury. That's too much to overcome, and they're still running the football. And tacking on some yardage is Le'Veon Moss out to the 45-yard line.